Jean with me, Madame Jeanneper. Today, we'll learn to cook Artibelle, one of the most delectable pastries, croissants. My name is Adelaide Marmalade. Ever since I can remember, I always wanted to be a cook. And not just any old boring town baker or butcher. I wanted my own cooking show. Breaking news. Alien invasion. Officials have declared a state of emergency. We urge civilians to stay indoors. We repeat, remain indoors. Do not engage with any foreign activities. They're inside. They're... They're... Ah! Ah! Grandmother died that day. But my dreams of having my own cooking show sure didn't. To host a cooking show, one needs a television studio. And luckily for me, there seem to be many abandoned ones around. Perfect. To make any basic old cake, one needs flour, butter, sugar, salt, milk, and the last known unexpired eggs on the planet. Even if they are covered in blue paint. But to make grandmother's cherry chocolate cake, one needs cocoa powder, chocolate chips, whipped cream, and a cherry. First things first. Preheat your oven to 160 degrees Celsius. Now we can start with our dry ingredients. Flour, cocoa powder, sugar, and a pinch of salt. A heap of chocolate chips. And that's our dry ingredients all done. Moving along. We want to get the butter quite soft, so I'll microwave it with the milk for 30 seconds. All done! Now we can add it to the other bowl and move on to our eggs. Now I do admit, these eggs do look rather strange. However, as grandmother said, it doesn't matter what's on the outside. It matters what's on the inside. Now to whisk it all together and put it in the oven for 45 minutes. Once the cake has cooled down, you can ice the top. Oh my, I almost forgot one thing. The cherry on top. Here it is, grandmother's cherry chocolate cake. A scrumptious dessert. And that's it for tonight's... No, no, no! That's it for tonight. That's it for tonight. That's it for tonight's show. tonight's show. Catch us again next week for more out of this world cooking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.